chair now recognizes the gentleman from North Carolina and the chairman of the subcommittee on oversight, Mr. Bishop. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Ms. Murphy, a good bit of your testimony focuses on, I know this hearing subject matter is, uh, is the threats from China, and some of those are covered, but a lot of your written testimony focuses on the FBI's Foreign Influence Task Force. That is part of, that is, uh, comes under the counterintelligence division that you're the deputy director of, correct? F, there's three deputy assistant directors in the counterintelligence division. The Foreign Influence Task Force actually falls under a different deputy assistant director, but it okay. is in the counterintelligence division. But in the division, okay. It, um, has the division, has the Foreign Influence Task Force changed its practices any as a result of the revelations from the Twitter files or from the uh, litigation undertaken by the Attorneys General for Louisiana and Missouri? So, sir, I would have to take that question back to the team and get you an answer. I'm, I'm not aware of, of their processes or any changes that they've made. Do, are, are you familiar with the work of that? Of that? And you, you certainly, you've read the Twitter files, I assume. I have not. You've not read any of it? No. Interesting. Are you aware um, that the FBI regularly meets or met before the 2020 election with the, um, uh, with the uh, social media platforms? I saw the media reporting on that. Okay. Um, what, um, are they still meeting in the same way with the social media platforms? Sir, I would have to take that question back. I'm, I personally am not meeting with the social media companies in my role. Okay. And, and you receive no reporting and you're otherwise unfamiliar internally with the, with the activities of the Foreign Influence Task Force insofar as their interactions and engagement with social media platforms is concerned? No, sir. I, that's not part of my, my role or my purview uh, and my job. I see. Um, do you, uh, let me ask this question. One of the, perhaps the most effective operation by the uh, counter foreign malign influence operation uh, by the FBI in the 2020 election was convincing social media not to, or, or to suppress the Hunter Biden laptop story by preparing them uh, to be on the lookout for hack and dump operations. Um, did the FBI know at that time the content of the Hunter Biden laptop, which it had in its possession by means of a subpoena? Sir, I don't know the answer to that. I'd have to respectfully refer you to the, to the attorney that's prosecuting that case. Who are the other deputy directors, uh, in addition to yourself, in the counterintelligence division? Uh, Scott Grady is the deputy director over intelligence, and right now we have an acting director, uh, Roman Rosnowski, over uh, Russia and other countries. Which one supervises the Foreign Influence Task Force? Scott Grady. Okay. Um, do you, you've written uh, about foreign malign influence in your testimony. In fact, of the testimony, which is only about three and a half pages, a full page of it is, is about foreign malign influence, actually a page and a half. What do you know personally about the FBI's actions against foreign malign influence? In those, in those instances, sir, it would be things like the police station and the Chinese influence in the United States against uh, Chinese Americans living here or Chinese uh, persons being in the United States that they're trying to repress or take back. What about the portion that, uh, uh, let's see if I can find something here. What about this part? You said coordinating with closely with our partners and leveraging relationships we have developed in the technology sector we had several instances where we were able to quickly relay threat indicators that those companies, speaking of social media companies, used to take swift action, blocking budding abuse of their platforms. What do you know, what do you know about that? Sir, that might, that might be a reference to our work with foreign partners. Well, this is in your written testimony before the committee. Let me give you a fuller context. It says this better, some of the FTI, FITF brings the FBI's national security and traditional criminal investigative expertise under one umbrella to prevent foreign influence in our elections. This better enables us to frame the threat, to identify connections across programs, to aggressively investigate as appropriate and importantly, to be more agile. And then you talked in that last sentence that I read. So do you, or do you personally not have knowledge of that since you don't actually deal with the FT, FITF? So, so the, as I stated, the Foreign Intelligence Task Force falls under DAD, Scott Grady. Um, you know, like I've seen, as I mentioned, the media reports. You know, like I know that there's engagements 
but those aren't part of my role and that's not part, something that I take part of. It's curious that it's included in your testimony in that case. I'd ask you more, but I guess my time's expired, so I'll yield back. 